Hey guys, Chrome Tyrell here. This is episode 6 of my The Making of Triple J series, my first journeyman character for Legends of Eidolon. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content, and let's get moving. Yeah, so I needed to get the dog bones to get into the Amarok again, because I hadn't really... I, I couldn't do that. He won't let you in. Dog won't let you in to see Amarok if you don't give him the dog bones, so that's what we're doing. And now we're up to... We have more dog bones than we'll ever need because he only needs like 10 of them and I've got like 1700. So once I show him the dog bones, I'm just gonna sell the rest of them. And then he explains about boss keys, which I now have to pick up. And I can wear these pants. Fence from 29 to 54. Nice. That's actually pretty good. All right, so yeah. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can take Amarok down as a journeyman now. I don't know if that's gonna be very smart. But uh, we're gonna try it anyway. I don't really know how it's gonna turn out. Ah, Scripticus. Oh, right. He says I've gotta knock over Amarok now. That's basically my whole bag in life. At least according to Scripticus, it is. So do we have that? Oh, we have the things that we need. We can get rid of the pants. We can get rid of the pants and the dog bones. I guess I have to keep this watch. I'm not sure if it's a very good watch to be keeping. I'm gonna sell the dog bones. And this. And I'm gonna get the, turn in the, little stone heart statues to the big flexing dude over here because HP statues are common amongst all my characters because I blew more money than was healthy to unlock all this stuff so all right we're going back I don't even know if a little 54 journeyman can do this but I'm doing it anyway a level 42 journeyman with 54 defense. I mean, when I was up to level 70 or 80, I could still work it. So I just don't know the problem is. All I'm going to be doing is punching him. And I don't know if that's going to be doing a lot of damage. You know what? Let me see if I can make some other pieces of equipment to put on him first. And then do it. Yeah. So it'll make it easier. I'm mainly actually concerned with the damage. So we need a pair of this, that we got it, I never actually made this, and we can make the Amarok booties, we can't make the Amarok booties, what's the level required to wear this, alright we need iron boots, to meet the Amarok boots we need iron, oh look at this, a pair of iron boots, well hot cha cha, okay. So we need the Amrock slab. Oh wait, I'm gonna have to probably knock him over to get those, aren't I? Oh no, I'm not. You know, the Amrock slab. Let's cancel that. Can make it from storage if it's canceled? I cannot. Alright, so we need to get the Amrock slabs back out. And 125 grass leaf. Yeah. There we go. Now we can make ourselves some Amrock. Well, I call it Amrock booties, but they're Amrock paws, technically, because I think he's some kind of a dog creature. I think. Anyway. Alright. Let's get on over here. Get some upgrade stones on here so we can really be uber powerful. It's going to take five for this and five for that. Alright, so three through three, 22, and five slots left. And we get, that's it. There's five slots. Alright, so now it's 5, 3, 7, 4, and 32. So we went up by 10. Oh wait, I could have, I forgot. I know the character had this. This character had this. I had an aura at the post office for one of these, but I refreshed it. Unfortunately. How unfortunate. 50 defense, 2, 79 defense. Okay, I can probably sell that now then. And then, 1, 1, 1, 10, and 3% defense. Ooh. That one tanked. That means, oh, wait a minute. So it's 5, 1, 3, 2, and 18 defense. 
Ah, there we go. Okay, now it's 20 defense. So from 79 to 102. Wow, nice. Alright, what do we need to make the Amarok? We need like Woodular Circle or something really hard to get. So we Amarok, we need more levels for one thing. We need am forest fibers, woodular circles, and amarok slabs. Of course, now, since I made a whole bunch of stuff out of amarok slabs, I don't have 20 of them now, but anyway. All right, so we're going to go over here. Sell the blue t-shirt. And then I am going to attempt to kill amarok again, even after I knocked him over as a beginner on this other, on a, like a purely beginner build, which it wasn't too bad. I mean, it wasn't as much dodging as I first anticipated it would be. Because I mean, after you're used to the attacks, if you're doing it several times, it's like, okay, don't don't get hit by the spikes, stand far enough away from him so the sword doesn't hit you when he swings it down. It's, it's reasonably okay, but for, if your defense is, I would say, lower than 50, it's quite daunting because it would be hurting you for quite a bit. And I forgot I have to spend these talent thingies and bobs. Here we go. Let's get both of these up to 64. That ought to solve it. And for this, uh, yeah, so we get this to 30, that to 30, this to 30, this to 30 as well. And then let's put two more in there for 32. All right, excellent. Things are going swimmingly. I only hope I can actually out damage him. That's my only problem. Oh, so now he's gonna drop. Oh, drop me a gem. Nice. I mean, as such, if he could do a thousand with each punch, 25 punches and Amrocks out. Actually, standing close enough to the downward swing of the sword doesn't hurt me. So this will actually be pretty good. I'm gonna stay still to see if it how well, much it takes away when it hits me in the head. Oh, I, I'm totally missed by that. I'm actually close enough to not be hit by any of the attacks. I'm gonna go over here and punch this thing because I don't want to be doing. So yeah, basically, oh, that's the one shot. Maybe he won't do it. Because I'm pretty sure that would end this run really quick. All right, so yeah. I can technically go back to Scripticus now and tell him, hey, I beat What's-His-Face. But I don't want to do that right now, because I want to knock over uh, Amarok a couple more times. Just a couple. I know in the past I have a tendency to get carried away with this, because I realize after you get a hold of the boss mechanics, it's actually reasonably easy to do this. Okay, two damage from being kicked by him when he stomps with the stuff. It's like, that's barely anything. It's like, it would be even easier if you could get behind him, but he's too tall. Although, I mean, I technically could run between his feet right there, if the game allowed it. But how he's standing it, he, I can't. See, it won't even let me go past there when he's lifted up his foot. I have enough room to just run right underneath that. I don't think I'll be able to have to whip the with a little rubber band thing to snap the whip at that. I can just punch it a few times. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Because I'm pretty sure that's one of the only things, even with 100 defense, that would instantly take me out. So yeah, I was actually able to defeat as a journeyman, so I, I was not, not surprised. I just didn't really know how difficult it was going to be or not. 
Like, you know, I was not hard, but I didn't know if I had enough damage to take him out to out-heal the totem. So, yeah. Alrighty. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta get to somewhere else. Uh, where do I wanna go? Oh, go to, like, fishing or something else. I'm wondering. Let's go back to town really quick. Talk to Scrypticus. Say, hey, we beat what's-his-face. There's so many things. Oh yeah, he's got to get... I've got to make the completionist tokens. I don't know if I've done that for any of the characters. This is... I don't know what this is. Depending on what it is, though, I'll likely have to sell it. This is... Will of the Eldest. Oh no, that's the... I think I already have that book. That's the Scripticus book. It's like, you give... You get a special bonus for every 10 levels of your highest character. And my highest level character is, I think, 61. Not very high. So, yeah, I just realized if I'm going to go farm stuff, like farm things, I'm going to have to go to that someplace first before popping out of here to go do something else. So, I wonder if the, if the sand thingies won't hurt me too bad. Oh, right. Okay. I wonder how badly they'd hurt me or what. Ah, with 100 defense, they, they won't hurt me a thing. The only problem is having to knock them over all. It's a bit slow going for the damage. That's why I remember God of Eidolon had mentioned that the journeyman is mostly like a gimmicky character. I think those were his words, and he, he's right, of course. Because he's God. Of anyway, uh, I know the thing about the sandy pots is it's whoa, they're a gamer, blah 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 blah. But I want to just farm these. I want to see if I can get some glass shards to be able to make other things with. So that's what I'm gonna be doing with this. I appreciate you guys hanging out. Keep on going with your gaming journey and your life journey too. And we will catch you all in the next one. See ya.